one of the quarterbacks I know you spent some time with and a lot of time covering that had a remarkable season at Justin Herbert. Did you see this coming or? Oh, yeah. I mean, look, Justin was, was terrific in college. And I think what's really interesting about it is one, this is a guy that decided to go back for another year, right? Like there was talk about him two years ago as a guy that could have come out in the draft. And that's not an easy decision for a lot of quarterbacks. And I think more times than not, most guys tend to leave early and try to make that cash. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I see the, you know, you saw the improvement at, at Oregon from, you know, two years ago to the last season, or I should say through, I guess, three seasons ago. And then his last season in Eugene, you know, there's all the accolades that come with winning, right? Like the turnaround, multiple coaches, winning a Rose Bowl, another, you know, Pac-12, you know, championship, like that's really cool. But his development as a player was also pretty remarkable. If you're asking me, did I see him having this level of success this quickly? The answer is hell no. Did I think he was going to be a really good, talented starting quarterback in the NFL for a long period of time that was going to be the face of that franchise eventually? Yes. I just didn't see it happening in his rookie season. And I also think it's a testament to this ability like where the stage is not too big for him like Justin is not he's not like this crazy extrovert who is this rah rah you know uh god I, I you know I, I mean pick the quarterback that's out there that's just kind of jumping up on you know a Baker Mayfield type right like who's just kind of like you know revving everyone up that's not Justin's personality and yet when he was in Eugene and he spoke the guys listen and it, it didn't happen a lot in fact a funny story was in his early days at uh, at Oregon and Eugene, Mark Helfrich was his head coach. And Mark during the practices would say, you have to say something after every single play to someone on the team. I mean, that's kind of what it was. But I also look at not only the, the mental maturity and his growth at, over time in Eugene, but then take it a step further in his physical development. I remember seeing him, you know, early on, like as a sophomore, and, and certainly the size was there. But when he starts to fill out and you look at his hands and you shake his hand and it's like engulfing, you know, basically my entire arm, which is not saying much at 5'8", eight, above 55. But the point is, like, there was these physical tools that were out there, the haymakers that he throws pretty consistently where there's a trust in those wide receivers. I, it's been remarkable watching him and, and thrilled for his success with that organization. Do you think he had anything to do with that hit on Tyrod's punctured lung? Ever? Hell no. Hell no. Because I don't think... You know, if you said to him, like, hey, you get to start, but you find out five minutes before, you know, kickoff, I, I mean, that's not an easy situation, even thrives in, 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 in those circumstances. So kudos to him, man. Um, and, and I think if anyone, and, and I get it, like most people don't know him, and I, and I don't know him all that well, just from, you know, a handful of interviews and some interaction, you know, off the field, a really, really, I was going to say sweet kid, which is probably not the best way to, to, to classify a football player, but he's a really, he's a humble kid. He's a bright guy. Um, and he is, he's, I, I'm thrilled for his success. My, my hot take about that situation that I completely made up and I have no reason to believe it whatsoever is that he, you could see a little bit during the season, he had a little bit of a, uh, like, like uh, kind of like pimples breaking out on his face. And my hot take was that Acuvue had been trying to get him and Acuvue paid the team doctor to get him in the game and, and then after the season he's gonna have billboards put up in LA no claim it I don't know if it's I, I don't think it's true but I don't know 